All right, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. I want to give all praises to our Heavenly Father, Yahweh. Those was only begun, Son, Yahweh, Shah, man. And uh, I want to read y'all a quick word, real quick. I'm out here by the track, but I'm going to read y'all something, man, because a lot of you dudes, you, uh, you know, y'all focus so much on the wicked of our people, but y'all don't understand balance, man. Like, we get that one West is going off. And they're not in the new covenant, they're not in the spirit. But I'm finna read y'all something. Because a lot of you guys forget, like it says in the Torah, we were going to be del delivered to our enemies, man. He didn't say everybody was your friend just because, you know, you fell short. So I'm gonna get Matthew 10, show y'all what Yahweh Shai said to the disciples, man. Got Matthew 10 and 6, man. Matter of fact, I'm gonna go to 5. These twelve, Yahweh Shai sent forth and commanded them, saying, Go not into the way of the Gentiles. Nah, he said, Go blend in. He said, Go not into the way of the Gentiles. Nah, he said, uh, American pop culture. And I'm not, I'm not smart or I'm not righteous if I'm, if I'm not Paul. Go not into the way of the Gentiles. I'm showing you, man, like, y'all got to stop trying to put one West and their uh, so-called black supremacy doctrine with everything, man. Like, you dudes got to stop twisting. And into any of the city of the Samaritans enter ye not. So, we know the capital of the northern kingdom is what? Samaria. But go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel, man. And as ye go, preach, saying, preach, saying the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, raise the dead, cast out devils, Freely ye have received, freely give. And that's a cut to all you damn pastors and all you damn camps receiving money for tithes, man. And tithes for food for the for the Levitical priests. Read that Matthew 10 and 8 again. Heal the sick, cleanse the lepers. You guys ain't doing that because you don't have the Holy Spirit. Raise the dead, cast out devils. But you got to have the Spirit of your house shot. If you're not in the new covenant, you can't do that. Freely ye have received, freely give, man. So... So a lot of you guys charging for the, for the word, man. I'm going to let y'all see it for yourself. Heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, raise the dead, cast out devils, freely have you received, freely give. And that comes with keeping the commandment. So watch this, bro. Because uh, Matthew 10 and 14, for you guys who struggle with patience just like me, whosoever shall not receive you nor hear your words when you depart out of that house or city, Shake off the dust of your feet. So Yahweh was telling his disciples, the actual twelve. We know they were Israelites; they knew all that, but they didn't waste their time with people who wanted to be stuck in the curriculums of the world or the lives of the world. Especially you old covenant Israelites, man. When you go to uh, sixteen to seventeen, behold, I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. Right? Everybody trying to get over on somebody trying to plot on somebody this happens every damn day in this roman empire mystery of babylon so be ye therefore wise as serpents and harmless as doves but beware of men right and women so you got to watch these people man these people are consistently being carnal they don't they don't have a spiritual eye to see they don't understand the things of the truth at all neither do they care so and be ye therefore wise as serpents and harmless as doves, but beware of men, for they will deliver you up to the councils. You might be in school. They might start uh, falsely accusing you or trying to put their pen in your book. They might try to say, oh, you're just religious. Oh, you just, you're one of them. And they, they just start talking. They start talking. They start lying. But like how Shah said, man, blessed are ye when they persecute you, bro, because you ain't do nothing. If you know you ain't do it, then why you tweaking, beloved? So... And they will scourge you in their synagogues, man. And you shall be brought before governors and kings for my sake, for Yahweh Shah's sake. That ain't talking about just because I got a garment on and just because I say Yahweh Shah that that's going to happen. Because some of you dudes, a lot of you dudes and you men and you women, you start shit with people and then you get punished. That's not what that's talking about. Um, For a testimony. Hold up. And you shall be brought before governors and kings for my sake for a testimony against them and the Gentiles. Nah, I, Israel went off, so the covenant went to the Gentiles and the Gentiles. You guys got to stop with this damn narrative and stop trying to 
save wicked people. I don't care if they're Israelites or Gentiles. Stop trying to save the wicked. Like, I don't know what it is with you Israelites. Y'all want to save the wicked, bro. The Gentiles are going to cleave to Yahweh Shah. They're not in the, in the, in the 144. That doesn't mean, well, the, the, the Israelites killed Jesus, bro. That doesn't justify the whitewashing and all the other wickedness that they've done, bro. What you talking about? But for you wicked Israelites, too, it happened because of you. I mean, it's very simple, man. For when they deliver you up, take no thought how or what you shall speak, for it shall be given you in that name, in that same hour, what you shall speak, man. For it is not ye that speak, but the spirit of your father which speaketh in you. So, but I wanted to bring that out, man, because that was Matthew 10. See that? I got my, got my, bro, got my sword on deck. But I was chilling, bro. I was out here just chilling. And um, I was just reading. But I thought about that. I said, man. A lot of you guys, bro. Like I said, I work I work around a lot. I work around Gentiles, bro. Like, y'all got to understand, man. Um, stop, stop trying to twist narratives. And stop acting like we're not ten times more happier. Walking in the truth. Being fruitful. You know what I mean? And being real about it. Y'all got to stop. Being ashamed of the truth, like I'm about, look, I'm about this school out here by a damn school, bro. And do not, you feel me? You gotta be bold for the gospel. Let me show y'all the heaven. Might be chemtrails, but look at that light, man. Right on the greater light, right there. So y'all gotta stop being ashamed of the true gospel. Stop eating pork, crab. Stop worshiping your damn elders. Um. I believe the new moon is coming up on the 11th, which I believe is the Sabbath. All right. But stop. What the scriptures say, the cares of the world choked, uh, choke the word out of you and you become unfruitful. Some of you beloveds, man, you start losing faith because you keep looking at your situation and you keep seeing the wicked prosper, man. Remember, a thousand years is as a day to your how like it's not. We're not even following the Hebrew calendar. We're following their Gregorian calendar. So it's 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 annoying. But stay in that worry and apply, man. And uh, take care of yourself. So, that being said, I might start making some workout content as well. But the scriptures say, honor the most high in your body for all you guys that's stuck in Galatians. And uh, for all you people who don't know what religion means, that's religio, which means to bind back, to hold back from the truth, man. But there's so many things, bro. Because the same way y'all are about business, when you go to your job, nah, man, we about our father's business. And all you people <laughs> thinking your money going to save you, your title, the way y'all treat people, y'all ain't keeping no commandments. Y'all going to see Abba in the resurrection, bro. It's going to be business then. So y'all better watch how y'all treat people, especially you Gentiles, man. So with that being said, peace and blessings, and Shalom.